Hello everyone, you're watching my first Gears 5 video. Yes, I'm alive, and yes, I'll be posting for Gears 5. I'm very excited to do so, and here is just an introductory video where I'm going to outline what exactly it is I hope to do on Gears 5 YouTube, similarly to how I did for Gears 4. You are currently watching an execution match. This is one of the first matches I played on this game. I haven't been able to play too much yet. So you'll see stuff reminiscent of a player who knows what they're doing and some half decent sniping off the bat here. Although I've been told that the auto aim is quite strong in all of the playlists with the exception of the competitive playlist. But what you're also going to see is a player who has quite a few fumbles, whether they're misrolls or getting hit by a train, which is exactly what you're going to see in two seconds here. The funny thing about this is I didn't even know that there was a kill cam in Gears 5, so I thought that somebody else did exactly what I did, and I ended up laughing at myself later on when I realized that it was just me. So, as you can see, I have quite a bit of work to do when it comes to being the best player I can be on Gears 5, as I'm sure so many other players do, and that's a good segue to what the focus of my channel is, and really has always been if you've been around, and that's being the best Gears player I can be and competing online. Obviously not at a pro level, I don't have a desire to do that, but I like to, you know, perform my absolute best as I can online. So you're going to see a return of my classic series inside my mind where I describe what's going through my head. Clutch class, which is a variation of that where I describe what's going through my head in clutch situations only in the hopes that it will help you develop the type of mindset you need to succeed in this game. And of course, succeeding in a game like this is a combination of having the basic skills, the proper mindset to approach matches and just knowing all of the little things because the little things do add up and I think those inside my mind episodes help to uncover what those little things are. In addition to that I'll be releasing tutorials but I feel like in the gear scene now there's quite a lot more people posting on YouTube some good content and it's great for the community but that does mean for YouTubers such as myself that we'll have to find ways to distinguish our content from other content creators if you want to be as successful as possible, in my opinion. So I will be doing stuff like a national tutorial and a movement tutorial, but I think for Gears 5, I'm going to do it in a way that it caters to my specific play style. So it will be how I use the shotgun, how I like to do movement, and I think that might help distinguish me from some of the other tutorials that you've probably seen already, or that you will no doubt watch. For me, it is still too early to post tips and tricks videos because the truth is I haven't had much time to play this game and before I give people advice on what I think they need to do to be successful in this game, I need to understand the game myself and what works and what doesn't. So it's a learning process for everybody. Mine has just started and I'm just not in a position to share specific tips and tricks with people. With that said, I will be posting an Inside My Mind later on this week and you'll kind of get to see how my mindset develops as I learn how to use the weapons and how best to approach match, uh, matches, maps and, and whatnot. I'm also curious to know what you are interested in seeing. Obviously co creating content is fun for me but it's also fun for the people who are receiving and, and watching the video. So if there's something that you want to see and there's a lot to do in Gears 5, please let me know and I will do my best to expand what you are typically used to seeing from me. So that's it for me, that's all I really wanted to say. I'm going to reserve my opinion and impression of any part of the game really until I've had a proper amount of time to play so that I can have an opinion supported by actual knowledge of how the game works and whatnot. But I'm very excited to share what I have for everybody and I'll let you watch this match close out. So I hope to see you in future videos and thank you very much for watching. Great. 